This is a case that so many of you simply cannot understand. A child raped, murdered and mutilated and burned. But it appears the parents of one of the women at the center of this, they're still very much keeping in touch with her. Visitation records from the Metropolitan Detention Center are public. Since Michelle Martin's arrest in August for the rape and death of her own child, Victoria, Martin's parents have stayed in contact with her. The most recent jail log show since last fall, Martin's dad has visited Michelle nine times. Martin's mother has come to see her once in January. She also had one visit from a woman who appears to be a longtime friend. And while Michelle Martin's has had visitors, the other two suspects in this case, not so much. Jail records show since October, no visitors for Fabian Gonzalez and Jessica Kelly. Jail logs show one person came to see her in October. Since then, no one. After Victoria's death, we requested phone calls and visitation records of all three suspects in this case. Again, those records are public. In October, MDC released jailhouse phone calls. In this one, Michelle Martins and a friend talk about Victoria. I, wrote, I broke down in my room today, man, because like, yeah. I feel like such a failure in life right now, you know? And I made a promise to Victoria mm. that I would never let nothing happen to her, and I broke that promise. So I feel like I failed her, I failed my family, I just failed everybody, you know? While MDC is still providing the visitation records, they are no longer releasing the jailhouse phone calls involving any of the suspects in this case, saying it is still under investigation. All three are scheduled to go on trial in October for Victoria's rape, murder, and dismemberment. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin.